Libra, this is Christelle Martinet with another weekly reading starting uh, March 7th. This is the week of the eclipse, starting the season of the eclipse, kicking it off. Important times, important changes um, occurring in this season. And um, I have with me the um, Alexander Ta uh, Egorov Tarot, the Golden Edition, which is one of my favorite decks. I've pre-shuffled this um, deck and I'll just give it a little more shuffling. Also, I have the Italian Vera Sibilla and, the, and my set of Tiger's Eyes runes, which um, work well with this tarot deck. Let's see what's in store for you, Libra. Okay, um, what a what a week. Uh, there, there is um, Libra. I have one card of balance, and it is um, which is the two of cups. But it's potentially in the position of being set off balance. I have the devil right before that. So what the cards are: the devil, the two of cups, and the seven of coins. Now. Um, this devil sort of conditions, it's the entrance card, and it sort of conditions the rest of the, the spread. And what do I see? Under the devil I see the star, thank goodness. And then the king of cups next to that, that is the focus card. And next to that is the eight of wands. Now, um, there is some shady business going on here, and in of late. And it has to do with that relationship. Um, you know, let me go on. There's last three cards, the three of coins, the six of swords, and the sun card. Thank goodness. All right, so we have the entrance card is the devil, and the exit card is the sun. So what am I seeing? I'm seeing that. Um, let me show you this devil card so you can see why I say about that relationship. And right next to the, uh, these two are bound by karmic, uh, karmic tie. And um, next to that is the two of coins. And for some reason, there's some shady business going on. You're doing some shady business. I don't know. There's a lot of, uh, not deception, but, you know, going into the other person's phone, checking it out, planting seeds that, or, or making it seem that in your phone, someone is writing to you and trying to make the other person jealous. There's a lot of deception going on um, seemingly. It seems that you think that that might, may help the relationship. Um, you come to your senses, all right? You come to your senses. I'm talking about those who are partnered, but you know, there's um, those of you who are not partnered. There's self-deception going on. You're creating illusions for yourself. Um, the Seven of Coins tells us that finally you get. You're able to look out of yourself. You're able to look a a higher up to raise your gaze. And I've got here the star, which is a beautiful card that knights with the seven of coins and the sun card. And you are blessed that your guides are taking you under their wing and taking you to a different place very, very quickly. The focus is on the king of cups. They're making you come to your senses, regain your stability, and very, very quickly during the week. You know, it's like shaking you up. You're going to be shaken up. And um, the three of coins also aids us. It's mirroring the seven of coins. And, you know, it seems that you're called upon to um, go about your business as usual. And that gives you that day in and day out. The routine is also what helps you keep balanced. And finally, you're home safe with this six of swords and this sun. I'm going to take the Vera on this devil and see what if we can get to the energetic base of that. If we can see what that's all about. And this deck too has been shuffled at length, but again, let's give it another go. This devil. All right, the devil card. Uh-huh. All right, now get a load of this. This is a place. This is like an institution. In an, an institution like Cup, mm, Christelle Martinet is having a tongue twisting challenge. In an institutionalized relationship, those of you who are with a strict bond, you know, paperwork, you're married, or you have some kind of contract between you, even if it's on a partnership business contract, 
that is going through some difficult times there's less communication there's there's um you know very difficult um standoffish positions between you two and um what i'm seeing here is that this has been going on for a long time but that is about to end so speedy finally coming in the size it's about time that it stops um i'm going to go to the seven of coins the seven of coins the seven of coins i get the um i have here the thinker uh, pensiero uh, the thought Alegria, happiness, and La Vecchia Signora, the old lady. And uh, what I see here is that your um, Libra understanding that if you want to be happy, you need to change. And that is, you know, besides your guides, you do have that light bulb on top of your head go off, and you finally do realize your misdeeds and what you're not doing right, or your your deception, or the uh, self deception or illusions i'm going to look now at the um, three of coins here interesting interesting um interesting um i see the fortune card the female enemy and amalato the sick person now this could be a male or female energy and um, energy yeah and this is the fortune card which however um, tells you that your fortune through your misdeeds it's an energy is bringing you has brought you unhappiness with that three of coins it is on in your livelihood relationships that you entertain there that will really make you wake up to show you what am I been doing let me get off of this you know let me get out of this little wheel that I'm on and, and start changing and then you there's the six of swords and there is the Sun card um, I'm going to take my runes now and see what they can tell us for the week for you Libra okay um, I've got here all right now um, they're warning you they're warning you they're telling you that the lack of communication and you know this you yourself know that this there is a lack of communication and you know you know underneath that little voice interior voice the inside voice tells you i know i'm doing something wrong okay now look libra don't go all of you out there and give me thumbs down i don't go i don't give the happily ever after all the time this is what i'm saying this is what you're getting it doesn't apply to everybody this is a general reading but for some reason i'm being given this message for those of you who have to listen um also um they're telling you um this lack of communication that you yourself are aware of has been giving you a static situation stagnant you've been stagnant and um although here i do have yera which beats time marks time and tells you make a big decision now take a big decision now and in time those situations will overturn i do at the same level of of um yera i have this lovely um, this is probably one of my best, my favorite runes, I guess. Um, Diag, which um, talks of um, a transformation, a life, not life threatening transformation, but a life revolutionary transformation. And this is what the runes are suggesting to create that, to enact that, to start using your one, two, three, four steps and kicking the ball and start that change start um, stop the cycle the negative cycle enact a positive change you need it you need it profoundly and uh, open the gateway as of now this is Rido Merck state you're not going anywhere you're not going anywhere until you kick that ball and you enact um, you, you stop this cycle this, this self delusions, these um, uh, trickery and deceit. Libra, let's put our ducks in a row and 
Namaste, my friends. For those of you who this resonates with, this is what I have for this week. Until we read again, I hope this has been of some help, Libra friends. Bye-bye.